Hi, I'm Susan Le Finn. We run as a family, Le Finn Clear Cutting, plus we have two water trucks that I run. It's just a summer project. Cut grass with uh, grass cutters and uh, with the tractors and grass whippers with people. We did that for seven years. We started out real small. Well, at first there was only two workers and one truck and one tractor driver. As the years went by, we, we progressed now. We got two tractors and two grass cutters and I think 20 uh, grass whippers. <laughs> so it took a little while to get going, but we did get going. We've been farmers our life. We know tractors, we know grass cutting wheat because we made hay. We, you know, we know what to do, eh? We were always looking for more different kind of work. And so we jumped at it when, when the opportunity was there. We needed financing, so we went to SIC. My name is Angela Latticer, and I'm the general manager of Settlement Investment Corporation. Settlement Investment Corporation was established in 1985 to assist the Métis Settlement members in agriculture and business by way of loans and business services. Settlement Investment Corporation is located here in Edmonton, Alberta, but we serve the eight Métis Settlements around Alberta. Susan and Ambrose came into the office looking for a loan uh, for a mower and a tractor uh, for their opportunity. Basically, we looked at the opportunity. Uh, they had a contract that was, you know, ready to go. Uh, they could start work tomorrow, but they didn't have the um, credit uh, or the uh, experience in running a business. We had to get them in touch with a business consultant to provide a business plan for them. They came back to us once their business plan was completed and we were able to grant the loan for them. The biggest challenge, I guess, was the financing and, you know, because we had to get like you see that little tractor, that's what we started with. We, you know, we bought that little tractor and a little, little more and then we and went to work that one year. It went re really well, actually. They um, completed their contract. They made $50,000 in their first year. They paid out their loan, their original loan that they had with us, and um, it was great. We were, they were paid out clients, so we advanced in July and they were paid out by September. You know, got to grow. You got to grow. You can't just stay with that little thing because, you know, they're not gonna, they're not gonna keep us there if we only have that one little small machinery, right? Or one little small piece. They came back to us looking to expand. Um, their one tractor and one mower just didn't cut it. Uh, they had the opportunity for a bigger contract, so uh, they needed an expansion plan. So we hooked them up with another consultant, and they got their expansion plan done. And they came back to us, and they. Uh, we're looking for five more tractors, trucks, and you name it. So we went to SIC, and SIC, you know, they came across for us, so that was good. You know, they helped us. Susan purchased a water truck, and she started, you know, hauling water and got contracts for that. So they're kind of in to a lot of different things, um, but you could see uh, when they first came in that, that entrepreneurial spark where you know, they, they knew what they had to do and they knew where they needed to go to get the contracts. What I would say to an aspiring entrepreneur would be research the opportunity, make sure it's a sound opportunity, and then come and see us. Well, the advice I'd give them is, uh, well, look into it, like make sure that it's gonna be a good, viable business that you think you can do and you're happy with it and and then go and get your business plan and go look for your financing if it's SIC if it's this if it's I don't know wherever you can go like but then you got to work hard at it it's a it's it's a business that you got to do if it fails you're the one that's failing nobody else right since we've been doing the business services program, we've uh, seen such a big change in the clients that we assist. Um, they're more knowledgeable in their business, not only just the day-to-day, -day, you know, making the money business, but they're knowledgeable in their financial side of things. Living on a Métis settlement, there's not much opportunity for work. Um, really, the only thing that's available would be, you know, working for the Métis settlement. Um, so there are a lot of members that are interested in going out on their own and doing something for themselves. It's a really good thing like, actually to have a family business and to 
uh, you uh, learn more how to work with each other and to be uh, a family, I guess. It is a good thing to run your own business like that and where you have your family involved and uh, like uh, our kids are helping us, you know. And then it makes our kids uh, more, more closer to us. The best thing about my job working for Settlement Investment Corporation is to be able to assist the Métis Settlement members in becoming self-sufficient, self-reliant and actually be able to do something on their own.